Welcome, everybody, to Recon Paint Gaming. I am Padre, and joining me again, of course, is our friend Andy. Hello. Yes, he says, hello. Yeah. Yeah, that's about as exciting as we get today on a Tuesday <laughs> evening. And, of course, Andy purchased this game at Gen Con. Remember? Gen Con, right here. It was a lot of fun. And now we get rid of that because, you know, we're not going to advertise for them all day long. But you picked up Dungeons, Dice, and Danger. Yep, it's a solitary, or it's a solitaire kind of Yahtzee with dungeons thrown in. You can actually play it up to four players, but uh, I picked it up because of the single player mode. Um, but it looks like it'll be a lot of fun, and I think it'll be kind of kid friendly as well. Well, you know, let's take a look at the back here. Holy crow, there's a lot of stuff on the back. Oh, yeah, it's in three different languages, just in case you're trilingual. But, hey, how can you not like that artwork? Well, psh, it's got all kinds of weird creatures on it, so, yeah, it's got to be good. This game is produced by uh, what appears to be Aaliyah, which uh, I don't know much about them, but they seem to also be working with Ravensburger. Ooh, Ravensburger! Yep. I like that name. But... Let's get to the good stuff, shall we, Andy? Shall we, yes. Oh, don't lift it up. Wah, 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 wah. Well, you start out with the rule book. And Ooh. how long is that rule book there, Robert? Ooh. I'm not counting that, but it's cool graphic. 11 pages, which to us, 11 pages is a thumbs up situation because it. If I get a rule book, it's got to be under 30 pages. Because anything more than that, that's a giant thing that I don't want to read. Nice and short, lots of illustrations, so... Yeah, there's not a lot of print. Text. Yeah, this is... Okay, so we... Example for dice, which is always important. And lots more uh, illustrations. Yep, it's got a fair... of the bosses, a scorpion bear... Well, who doesn't want a scorpion bear? You yeah, can't. It sounds like it belongs in Avatar. <laughs> the Airbender movie. Yes. Not the other one. Yes, and, and, and it's got to fly without wings. It well, just it just flies. Okay. It it just flies. I, I'm still trying to figure that one out. He had no wings. He flapped his tail, which looked like a beaver tail. Yeah. Well, it was a bison. Okay, it's a bison crossed with a beaver, or crossed with like a platypus that could fly. So that. Yeah, that could happen. Yeah. Yeah, this looks really kind of... It, it does not look uber complicated. And it's actually not too complicated. Ooh. So, you get two pads of Holy crow. dungeons here. Each pad of dungeon is double-sided. So, you start out with the annoyed animals, which are the easy dungeon. Okay. And then, as I mentioned, they're double-sided. You have the clumsy cultists on the reverse side oh, of the yeah. annoyed animals. Now, does this get a little bit harder? As, like, so uh, yes, little... the annoyed animals are the easiest. Clumsy cultists, I believe, is uh, second easiest. Second hardest would be Puzzle Pyramid. Okay. And on the other side of that, I believe, is uh, something dinosaur. Disturbed dinosaur? Defiant, Defiant dinosaur. Defiant dinosaur. Godzilla! Well, kind of. Big head, small arms. Um, oh, yeah. What are you going to do with it? So, each one of these dungeons, one each player is going to be getting one of these. Uh, right. To make it fair, everybody's going to have to play on the same dungeon, obviously. Right. Um, but there are 50 sheets in each one of these pads. So, between the four dungeons, you have 200 different playthroughs. Holy crow, that's an awful lot of playthroughs. And my guess is you could probably order these from Ravensburger or from Aaliyah or for, for whatever. So, like, if you play this all the way through, over and over again. Okay, complicated dice. Complicated dice. Nice, simple, little wooden six-sided dice. Dude, they're wooden dice. Yep. I win! Nice yeah. roll. Oh, wait, I'm one away from a full house. Anyway, we gotta go oh, for wait a minute. Come on, you want Yahtzee? No, nope. Yahtzee. I'm not going for Yahtzee. Yahtzee oh, never works. Ah! These are nope. defective dice. You failed. And of course, they're going to give us pencils. Four golf pencils. What is this? White Pie International? No, no. Just simple pencils. I like the fact that they throw pencils in. Makes it nice and easy. You know. And they, the game simply works by 
The active player is going to be rolling dice. Okay. The active player gets to use the black one, and you're trying to make combinations here to allow you to check off different boxes as you move through. Start with the green, and then you can move to adjacent. Uh, so this would let you check off a nine box. This would let you check off a five box, for example. Okay. Um, the non-active player is only going to be able to get to use the white dice. If you can't check off two boxes in any given set of rolls, you're going to be taking one point to your health. And when you get to the bottom of your health, game over for you. Everybody else continues. So see, theoretically, then, I could get rid of a ten box and a five box. Uh, yes, you could. Or a 7 and an 8. Yep. And some of these are also going to have specials in here. Uh, for example, this one, which you probably can't see too well, you have to have a double. So this is actually a 2 box, but you have to have two ones to get it. Okay, you got to have guys. Yep. What about box cars? Come on, give me box cars. Oh, uh, I'm no so point. close. Look at that. So it's a nice, simple game. All you're doing is adding two dice together, so not very hard math. I like uh, that, though, because especially if you're playing by yourself, you know, just doing the solitaire version, it's a nice little dice game. I like, look, I like games where you get dice and you get to roll stuff. Yeah, so if your kids can add two dice together, you can play this. Um, what was that dice game we were playing that had all those dice? Oh, that's right. It's, uh. It's uh, Doctor Who time of the day. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah, you don't add any of those dice together. You don't add the dice together, but you try to get the certain dice and to do all of that stuff, and it's a blast. But anytime you've got dice and you're marking stuff off and you're trying to do things by yourself, I like that. And if you could play with another person or two or three or four people in there, that's not bad. This is this is a great game to take on vacation. It's if you not, like simple roll and write, roll and write games, this yeah. is a good one for that. And it's also fairly inexpensive. I think it was only around 25 for that set. Um, with 200 sheets, that gives you a lot of time that you can play with it. Yeah, and it, it doesn't take up a lot of room on your shelf, and it's certainly going to fit inside of a uh, backpack really easy. And you know, I did notice one thing, though, on the side here. One! Yeah, I don't know. There's a possibility they might be doing expansions, you would think. So, different dungeons and, and all sorts of stuff. So, keep an eye out on this Dungeons, Dice, and Danger, because it, it definitely... I'm. We're going to try this out this weekend. Oh, yes. We're going to have to. Well... That's it for tonight's uh, Gen Con review of the haul that we got. Uh, we're going to do more of these because, yeah, we, we got entirely too many games. But that can't be too many. Gonna, we got a lot of them, not too many. Well, if you get a wheelbarrow, we could show off the dice that you bought at Gen Con. No, I didn't buy that many. You bought a lot of dice. Well, I bought a few, but not that many. You bought a lot of dice. You bought a lot of dice. His wife doesn't know. Uh, she's seen them. Yeah, so we're, we're not going to tell. But, uh, hey, thanks for watching. If you uh, enjoyed this, hit the like button. If you uh, want to see more of our stuff, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be warned when we come back on the air for, for stuff, hit the, uh, the, the little uh, bell so that you get reminders. Uh, if you've got tokens that you need for your games, give us a, a look up on uh, Etsy at Recon Tokens. And we'll make you some tokens for any game that you want without a customization fee. And uh, that's about all I got for tonight. So, Eddie, you got anything else? Nope. Have fun playing games. All right. We'll see you guys.